Hello, in this video, I would like to show you our new products, new LED kits called SP series, which is super bright LED. Uh, this this LED kit is designed specially for the for the screen that already equipped with its original LED strip. See, for example, this one. This LED kit comes with one LED strip for this particular model, uh, uh, AUO G150 XG01 version 3. We have this kind of like an angle L shape of uh, aluminum reflectors so make sure you can easily slice it i'm going to show you later so this one comes to uh he sinks so we're going to mount here and one drivers one six pin pigtails well before we do that i would like to show uh, make sure do the a little bit comparisons before we install the LED kits so let's say set the LED kit aside first okay i want to try um to measure the needs with this original LED strip and we're going to make sure after we have installed our SP series. So I have printed out one of the data sheet. Well, let's show you the screen first. This screen is made by AUO. Okay, the screen part number is G150 XG01 version 3. Again, G150 XG01 version 3. This one, again, originally have an LED strip. They have a LED driver built in here. So you just apply child work here and then we slice up. Um, take a look at the, the data sheet that I printed out here. Okay. It was a um, typical would be 320 nits. Let me show you maybe a little closer as you can see it. Okay, typically 320 nits. Okay, let's do a measurement first. I have my controller board here. I have a correct screen wire harness. Okay, let me fire up my generators. Okay, so again, this pretty screen have a built-in driver. All right, everything's connected. So let me get the VGA. And then I want to put it like this way, so maybe you could see it a little bit easier. Okay, a bit older meter. It's light meter made by main orders. The aluminum meter AOS dash 100s. Okay, so take out the cover. So the original manufacturer, when they measure it, they measure one, two, three, five points that get an average. But this is just for demonstration. I just want to measure the, the center one. So later on, when we install our SPCUS, we can measure the same spot. I'm not sure you see it. Three three nine point four nits. Okay, three three five nine. So we can do it one more time. Sometimes they will get slightly different. Okay. Three four one point three. This time. Okay. One more time. Well, they pick pretty consistent. Three three eight point five. Okay. This is with its original LED strip. It's pretty much right compared to the data sheet I just showed you, um, which is they call typically 320. All right, so let's shut off. And install our drivers. Okay, to install it, it's quite easy. There's a screw holding a uh, LED strips. So here's our LED strip, okay. So unscrew this one. We don't need it anymore. Let's disconnect this cable. LED strips. See that? Make sure it's clean. Okay. Here's our LED strips. So you basically just slice right back. When you slice, I try to tilt up. I don't want to damage the one of the sheets inside. Just tilt out a little bit, yeah. Perfect. It's in. Next thing, we're gonna stick this heat sink because it generally requires heat uh, to here. This is not on in a regular 3M tape. This is, I'll show you. This is, this is have a 
high heat transfer tips. So, okay, I'm gonna stick here. Yep. Perfect. See? So, secure the wire first. Now, let's see the difference. Okay. Well, we're going to use our driver because this comes with our driver. Okay. So, we're going to stick to either end. Wires. This one's particular for our controllers match. But when you purchase come with pigtail, so you can figure out the wires here. Then just connect this wire to here, and then connect to here. So anyway, so okay, all set. Less than fifty minutes. Now let's connect the signal to it. Hopefully you can see better. I think uh, that's it. Fire. Up. I think you already see the difference now. All right, again, use this meter, Minotus. Okay, let's make sure I see what to turn it on. Sixteen seventy six, one thousand six hundred seventy six. One more time. Sixteen seventy nine, pretty consistent. One more time. Sixteen fifty six, neat. So you see the big difference. And you can still cram up a little bit if your application really needs more than that. But in that case, I would suggest that install the LED strip right in the back of this bottom of this. So pretty good. It's not too many hits. And you see how easy it is? Just less than 15 minutes. You can uh, uh, upgrade it without any solderings. Oh, wow, well, maybe you had to solder the wire, stuff like that. But anyway, the reason I show you is because see how easy it is. If your application really needs to have an outside readable, I mean outdoor environment use, this is the way to go. Use the SP series, and because the newer screen, LED screen, they have a little bit thinner, so the light's more efficiency. Thank you for watching.